the Super Motocross World Championship. It's Redbud, 50th anniversary of this, the FMF Redbud National. And it is so fun to come here on July 4th, Independence Day weekend. Five minutes into the moto, we're into the sand wash. The Al still working on DeFrancisco. Yeah, both those guys, actually all three of them, weren't able to jump to Larocco's leap as Oh, the they come together, and they both go down. Just a racing incident. Looks like our rider D gets stuck on the inside. Tom rails that outside, and they come together. Um, yeah, just a racing incident, but Tom was going for it. Well, they changed this up. The, the sand rollers are now leading to the finish. It used to be Larocco's leap to the finish. So that's a kink, and it got them there. Yeah, as you can see, for most of these guys, if you go inside, I think Tom thought Ryder D was going to stay on the inside. Ryder D cuts over, tries to block Tom, and then they collide. So kind of on uh, Ryder D on that point, but he was just trying to block him because he felt um, Tom having that um, the, the speed on him, and yep. he was going to get on the inside. But Deegan getting squeezed on the outside. I think it might be a whole shot coming for the 96. And he's got the first Moto starts figured out this time. Motosport.com whole shot to Hunter Lawrence. Deegan right behind him. Let's look at the crowd here. You ever want to know who's leading the race? Just look at their front number plate. Anybody that's clean, they're probably up front. He has not taken on any roost in this first Moto. He got the start, and he's got the finish. Hunter Lawrence. Dominant, yeah. dominant. By the way, it's the 50th anniversary of FMF, as well as the 50th anniversary of the Red Bud National. A part of the celebration here, our own James Stewart getting into the Red Bud Hall of Fame. A whole bunch of legends were on hand as part of our 50th anniversary celebration. All right, your old buddy, Johnny O'Mara, you got the trophy. You were pumped on this. Yeah, I was stoked. I mean, it all kind of happened so fast. It was a surprise to me that I was inducted in the Hall of Fame, the AMA Hall of Fame earlier this year, and then the Red Bud. And seeing Cerullo is as close as he has been to Master Pool the whole way. Yeah, I was looking at Todd's bike. I don't know if that's smoke or something coming off the rear shock, but it looks a little loose in the rear. I noticed him making a few mistakes. There, yeah. I knew something was up with that thing. Oh, yeah. Oh, puffs of smoke there. Yeah, that looks like that's a... And the is the back of the bike moving a lot, like the shock's gone, or what do you think? Yeah, if you notice, it looks like he's, he's losing traction, like when the thing's under load, it's like skipping out. So I'm thinking his shock is blown out. Oh, and Sean Cerullo crashes and takes Master Pool with him. Incidental. Now, Sean Cerullo was not too far ahead of Plessinger, not too far ahead of Anderson. They both slide by. Sean Cerullo trying to get the bike started. He lost the rear end, and that led Master Pool with nowhere to go. Wow, that is a strange situation, and this one was as well a crash. Let's show you. Yeah, so Adam Good's up the inside. He sees an opportunity to get it. Just jumps in there. Now he loses the front end, and then Ty goes for a ride as well. But yeah, just making the pass. As you can see, again, Adam jumps in there. He kind of loses the front end as Berm goes away. You see that hard spot, and then Ty had nowhere to go. Plessinger able to avoid it. Whew, he went for a ride. Quarter of a lap to go. One more time. Larocco's leap for Jet. Throwing it down. Turned down for what? Mm -hmm. Yeah, and he's frightened right now. He's saving that energy. Get ready for this second moto. Looking back, making sure, even though I had 18 seconds, us riders, you just always feel like, uh, uh, maybe that guy closed up 18 seconds, so you'll look back. But great ride for Jet, great ride for Chase if he can hold this thing off. But again, just like the previous uh, six motos, ain't nobody keeping him up. Eight. Eight motos. Eight motos. Another checkered flag Moto 1 win at Redbud for Jet Lawrence. 9-0 and oh in his full-time 450 career. He is yet to be beaten. Deegan, is that Deegan going to drag around the outside? And he is. Hunter Lawrence went down in the first quarter. Uh oh, Hayden Deegan to the lead. Levi Kitchen second. Our first moto winner is down, and the door's open. Yeah. Yeah, it looks like Hunter Lawrence didn't get the jump, and he goes down. That is Jet Reynolds down, and Lawrence is still down, and Lawrence looks hurt. Wow. Well, this might have blown the lid off of everything in this series. 
Cameron Scalarud was the other rider, I think, down there, but we are watching closely the body language of Hunter Lawrence, your series points leader. Man, this is how crazy this sport can change. Hunter Lawrence had probably the best race he had all year, goes down in the first corner. I see him moving around, so that's a good thing. Yes. But man, in this 250 class, if we're watching Levi Kitchen and Hey Deegan go back and forth, it's it's wide open. All these guys can um, have up. a chance. Good to see Hunter up. Oh, but he is still holding maybe his hand or wrist. That is not what you want to see for a rider undefeated overall in wins this year and your series leader. Maybe Levi was negotiating his contract in between this week because he's coming out <laughs> firing whatever it is. Um, he definitely showed up the second moto. Um, I mean, he real good the first moto. He just got kind of stuck there. But out of all of them, I'm, I'm proud to see this kid like rebound. Looks like he's having fun on a motorcycle. And if I'm Justin Cooper, he's just another guy that's out here that possibly can be a um, title threat because he is ahead of um, Justin in the point. So as much as we talk about Cooper, Levi's ahead of him in the points overall, depending on what happens with Hunter. Yeah, yeah, he's actually fifth in points right now. And by the way, he's a native of Washougal, Washington. And if that sounds familiar, that is the track we'll be going to in his hometown, literally his hometown race, in about three weeks up in the Pacific Northwest. Checkered flag, Levi Kitchen wins, Moto2. But it's a moment we knew was going to come eventually, and it's going to come here on America's birthday weekend. The 17-year-old rookie from California, Hayden Deegan, wins his first pro race. Congratulations. Congratulations. And this one was in route. He's been great, really, since the moment he turned pro in Supercross. Podiums, consistency, a moto win earlier, but now he gets the overall. And you know these fans are going to absolutely love this here at Redbud. There he goes. That's Brian, Dad, and the checkers. We'll call that flag to flag. We got, we got it all. We got it all. <laughs> Giving the people what they want here at Red Bud. Master pool, unfortunately, big points haul could have been for the SMX playoffs today. That's not going to happen. And we go back to Sexton versus Ferrandis for second place. Let's see if Chase can get on the inside of him. It's super rough right there. Now he funnels back to the outside, which I think the outside's a better line. So. Oh no, Sexton tips over. Tough one. Plessinger is yeah. by. They were actually starting to close back in on Jet. This guy's able to cruise it home again. We are looking at 10 and 0 and still undefeated on a 450. It is unbelievable what he has done. Tell your friends, watch this kid on NBC next weekend from Southwick, the 19 year old from Australia, absolutely taking control of this sport. Jet Lawrence sweeps it at Redbud. Hi folks, Lee Diffie from NBC Sports here. If you truly enjoyed what you just watched, you can get more news, interviews, and highlights by subscribing to the Motorsports on NBC YouTube page. You can get it all, so go for it.